This is Defence News Weekly from Newsgate Television, edition number 14. Top stories in this edition includes, among others, Indian Navy's maritime might at its best foot forward by putting both the aircraft carrier ships in one single exercise in the Arabian Sea area. The new generation of Agni ballistic missile known as Agni Prime is successfully tested. And Coast Guard helicopters evacuated about 50 personnel to safety from oil rigs off the Gujarat coastline in wake of Cyclone Bipurjoy. The week gone by saw one of the most ambitious exercises undertaken by Indian Navy by putting up both the aircraft carrier ships, namely INS Vikrant and INS Vikramaditya, at one single operation along with a retinue of 35 aircrafts. The spectacular operation took place somewhere in the Arabian Sea area. In technical terms, it is known as multi-aircraft carrier force with both the aircraft carriers and floating airships flanked by an array of ships and submarines engaged in a single operation. According to officials of the Ministry of Defence, both Vikrant and Vikramadit carried MiG-29Ks as their main fighter jets along with recently acquired MH-60 Romeo helicopters. There was also traditional deployment of Kamov and Sea King helicopters along with Chetax and the ALHs, the Advanced Light Helicopters. In a statement issued by Navy, it stated that the successful demonstration of two carrier battle group operations serves as a powerful testament to the pivotal role of sea-based air power in maintaining maritime superiority. As India continues to strengthen its security apparatus, significance of aircraft carriers will remain paramount in shaping the nation's defence strategy and promoting regional stability, the Navy statement added. The week gone by also saw another big-time operations by Indian Navy when it conducted an underwater test of a heavy-weight torpedo. A spokesperson for the Navy said, this detonation of a big-sized torpedo was made in India weapon by the DRDO and such delivery of ordnance hitting the target with precision and accuracy demonstrates just one thing, that Indian Navy is future-proof and combat-ready at all times. For the Indian Navy's requirement, the floating barges are one of the key elements that constitute how well warships and other military flotilla can be served at far places in the sea, including at the jetties and at the harbour. In this endeavour, Navy received its newest torpedo cum missile barge manufactured by an Indian private player. According to a statement issued by the MOD, the Navy received its first barge under the series LSAM-15, constructed by Messrs. Suradipta Projects Private Limited. Last week, news also came that Indian Army has decided to modernize its LAN radio network in collaboration with an Indian private player who is a part of IDEX program. The Ministry of Defense in a statement issued on 9th of June said, in a continuation with central government's commitment towards Make in India initiative, the Indian Army has signed the second procurement contract through Innovations for Defence Excellence, that is, IDEX. The contract with Messrs. Estrom Tech Private Limited, a Bangalore-based private defence player, has developed a new and advanced version of tactical land radio, which the Army needs very badly. Tactical land is a solution which is developed indigenously for creating strategic communication in remote and difficult terrains. This particular radio trunking system has a state-of-art high-bandwidth wireless radio system for a reliable and fail-safe communication. 
The solution offers an enhanced range of communication and embedded frequency hopping mechanism to include changes of interception and long range point to point, multi point, high bandwidth communication. A Ministry of Defense statement said the system also incorporates the enhanced safety features and can operate continuously for 48 hours on a single set basis without any breakdown. The week gone by also saw the first edition of Tri Nation Maritime Partner Exercise between India, France, and the United Arab Emirates. During the maiden edition of this trilateral exercise, a wide spectrum of operations were conducted at sea involving tactical firing and drills for missile engagements, close quarter maneuvers, advanced air defense exercise maneuvers, helicopter cross landing operations and drills for replenishment at sea were undertaken by the three navies. The area near to the location where the Tri-Nation Maritime Exercise took place is notoriously infamous for sea pirates. It is the task of navies from India, France and the UAE to make sure that there is no piracy threat to the non-military shipping traffic in this area. It was a special occasion at Indian Military Academy at Dehradun that the Army Chief takes the salute at the passing out parade. On the 10th of June, at this time around of our POP, General Manoj Pandey was there. A total of 374 gentlemen cadets of the 152nd Regular Course and 135th Technical Graduate Course, including 42 gentlemen cadets from seven friendly foreign countries, successfully passed out from in front of the Chetwood building at the IMA. The POP marks the culmination of rigorous training at IMA, a premier institution imparting training in leadership, self-discipline and in the art of war. The passing out parade was followed by the most awaited pipping ceremony in which the shining brass stars which were pipped by the proud parents of the newly commissioned officers of the Indian Army. These newly commissioned young lieutenants will be joining their respective units all across the country, including the northern and the western borders. A new generation of Agni ballistic missile named as Agni Prime was successfully flight tested by the DRDO on 7th of June. This test was conducted off the Odisha coast from the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island. It was the first pre-induction light launch conducted by the users after three successful development trials of the Agni Prime, validating the accuracy and reliability of the system. According to DRDO, range instrumentation like radar, telemetry and electro-optical tracking systems were deployed at different locations during the test flight on 10th of June. Two ships were also deployed in the Bay of Bengal area to capture the flight telemetry data in its entire trajectory. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh was quick in congratulating the DRDO and the armed forces for the success as well as the copybook performance of the new generation ballistic missile, the Agni Prime. The Indian Air Force jointly conducted an elaborate exercise with Indian Army units in the central sector. The idea behind this exercise is to simulate real combat situations as close as possible as it could be. As seen in the declassified reels, the joint exercise involved a variety of air assets with ground combat units, mechanized infantry units and state-of-art communication linkages being put into combat mode.
when cyclone bipojoy struck gujarat on 12th of june it trapped about 50 personnel working in the oil rigs of the dwarka coastline in gujarat the coast guard was promptly requisitioned and swung into action a particular oil rig located about 40 kilometers from the coastline identified as ki singapore oil rig had about 50 personnel who were trapped in the oil rig platform as high gale force winds were lashing the structure the coast guard rescue helicopters made seven sorties in all battling against all odds in very bad conditions the coast guard helicopters successfully extracted 50 persons and brought them out to safe locations at the shore With this we come to the end of this edition of Defence News Weekly powered by Newsgate Television. Keep watching this space for more news and analysis from the defence and strategic world. Namaskar. Jai Hind.